Is Stefano Sissipas the next Roger Federer? Well, let's look at the facts. They both have a love of headbands. They're both sponsored by Wilson. And they both play a relentlessly attacking game. And more specifically, they have reinvented how to hit an approach shot that sets up an easy put-away volley. And if you have a tendency to overcook approach shots or miss volleys, then you should test this out in your game because it just comes down to how you use the geometry of the tennis court. What's up, everybody? Will Hamilton here, and greetings from this nautically-themed Airbnb. As you might have guessed, I'm at the beach. And conventional wisdom says you should hit your approach shots down the line, but that exposes you to the cross-court dipping passing shot. Whether you approach your opponent's forehand or their backhand, And even if you get that volley back in play, you have to volley through the court, which gives your opponent a look at another passing shot. So Federer pioneered the cross-court approach shot, and Sissipas is the only one of the next gen who consistently uses it, which is an interesting coincidence because Sissipas is Greek, and 2,500 years ago, it was Greek mathematician Pythagoras who discovered the eponymous Pythagorean theorem, which states that A squared plus B squared equals boring. But despite Homer's ignorance, if we apply the Pythagorean theorem to the tennis court, the baseline here, A, is 27 feet across. The single sideline, B, is 78 feet long, which means if I draw a line between the corners to create the hypotenuse of a right triangle, well, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, so the diagonal is 82.5 feet which means you get an extra 4.5 feet of cushion when you approach cross-court versus down the line. And crucially, you're now in position to cover that cross-court dipping passing shot. Here we see Federer approaching cross-court. The pass is cross-court, and Federer's right there. That's an easy volley into the open court, and then he cleans up on the next ball. And if we freeze it here, you can see Djokovic is hitting this passing shot basically right on the single sideline. And that's because Fed was able to create an angle Now, if he'd approached down the line, that ball has to come through the court, so Djokovic would have a better position to not only hit the passing shot, but then handle the volley that Federer hits, right? Djokovic barely gets to this thing, right? He's totally stretched out. Now, if he had been in better position over here and then run over to get that, he might have been on balance. He might have had a clean look at a passing shot, So simply approaching cross-court gets your opponent further off the court, and it puts less pressure on your next volley. So right now you're asking yourself two things. First, you're saying, Will, does your Airbnb come with a mini statue of Queen Elizabeth? And of course it does right there. She's waving to you. And then second, you're thinking, well, if I'm approaching cross-court, am I now exposing myself down the line? Am I giving my opponent that down-the-line passing shot? And the answer is, not really. Here we've got Federer in the far court now against Juan Monaco at the 2011 U.S. Open. Fed approaches cross court and then has plenty of time to close on that ball and put the volley away. So let's watch it again in slow motion. And if we freeze it at contact, Federer is barely inside the baseline. And it appears that all of this court is open. But again, he's got a ton of time because Monaco is so far behind the baseline. Basically, you know behind the score, uh, the scorecard there, that he has plenty of time to close on this thing and get to an easy put-away volley. Which brings us to Stefanos Sissipas. Did you know that Sissipas is sponsored by a deodorant called Rexona? Rexona, your tennis game might stink, but you don't have to. So here we have Sissipas versus Daniil Medvedev at the Aussie Open, and Sissipas is in the far court, He hits that cross-court approach, Medvedev goes line, and then Sissipas puts that volley away pretty easily. So if we watch it in slow-mo, again, let's freeze it at the point of contact for Medvedev. Sissipas is on the other side of the court, right? And it appears that all of this real estate is open, but because Medvedev is so far behind the baseline, Sissipas has plenty of time to move over and cover that part of the court. So it might seem like you are giving away the down the line, and you kind of are in a way. You At least you want it to look that way. You want someone to say, oh, I'm gonna, he's not there. I'm going to go for this, and then you'll have plenty of time to move over there and cover that volley. 
And keep in mind, you now can angle that volley off the court. It is much more difficult for your opponent to run that ball down when they try to go down the line, allowing you to volley off the court, right? If they had tried to pass with that dipper, again, you have to volley through the court like that. So there's just less court for your opponent to have to cover. Daniil and Stephanos. Sounds like the names of Siegfried and Roy's Tigers. Now, the other thing that's crazy about this play is that Sissipas and Fed will be behind the baseline when they hit that approach shot. Here we've got Sissipas against Zverev. He's behind the baseline, and he's over by the single sideline. Doesn't matter. He still just hits that approach shot cross court and has plenty of time to cover the, uh, the passing shot and put the, uh, put the volley away, a relatively routine cross court volley. So when it comes to your game, just test this out, right? You don't necessarily want to start approaching from behind the baseline, but maybe somewhere in no man's land or maybe up by the service line, whatever depth you're comfortable with, but just rip that ball cross court, just sort of aim for a big target. You've got those couple extra feet that'll give you a little bit of cushion, cut down on your errors. It's going to take away that cross court uh, roll passing shot, the dipping passing shot. It's going to invite the down the line, which is what you want because you're going to have time to cover it. And then it makes your put away volley uh, much, much easier. By the way, did you know that when Pythagoras moved out of his parents' house, he wanted to rent an apartment in the Parthenon, but he didn't have any credit history. So he had to get his parents to co-sign. I want to deeply apologize for that joke. It was probably the worst joke you've ever heard. Behold, the Singles Playbook, the sponsor of today's video, and if you click a link on this video or in the description, I'll show you one of my favorite plays. It's called Home Base. It allows you to uh, play to your strengths, attack your opponent's weaknesses, and avoid making mistakes. It's a great play. Federer uses it, and there are 41 plays inside the Singles Playbook, so click the link to check that out. And thank you for watching this video. Please let me know in the comments once you try that cross-court approach shot and let me know how it goes. And I'll see you guys in the next video.